Okay, so last video, we're, we're learning the basics of Tinkercad here. In last video, we learned how to move in Tinkercad and how to manipulate one object in Tinkercad. Now, we want to continue building on what we already know. So let's start looking at um, a few other tools here. And we'll start, so we'll, we'll manipulate this object a little bit further. And then we will bring in some more objects and see how that works. So first thing you, let's do is we can just click this uh, copy button up here and paste button and we can make two objects that are exactly the same. Nifty, right? We can also grab both of those. I just did a right or excuse me, a left click and drew a box and I can select both those and then guess what? I can manipulate both of those at once. So that's kind of handy. Um, I can also select multiple objects and click duplicate and then guess what I created more objects so I've got all these objects now out here I'm gonna go ahead and delete those ones that I just made so those tools come in handy for object manipulation and then what we want to think about is well what how do we combine objects so this is all great to be able to make objects but isn't the point of Tinkercad to be able to make something cool the answer is yes so how do you combine objects well what you want to do is overlap them however you want them to be connected right these ones aren't are very well placed here so guess what rather than trying to move it by hand you know and get it just perfect which can be kind of tough I'm going to set it and I'm going to use my number key, or not number keys, arrow keys. And I can just move things incrementally to get them exactly how I want them. So let's say I want it like that. I'm going to go ahead and group these two together. Um, and then, you know what, let's make them uh, orange just for fun here. Then what I want to do is click group up here, this little button. And then bada bing, bada boom, now we have one object instead of two very handy now when I manipulate this object I manipulate it's all one object now okay, it's all one object so what about taking chunks out of objects that's a good question what to do with that so here's a pink cylinder and let's just mess with this thing a little bit here so let's say I want to have a hole in the bottom of this thing over here right well then I'm gonna go to hide and then you see my cylinder becomes um, kind of somewhat transparent. Same process here is I'm going to then, I've got that where I want there to be a hole. And I'm going to go ahead and select everything. And then group them again. And now I've made that hidden object part of this object, which makes it a hole. Now this doesn't have to be in the middle of something. I can come over here and I can hide this object. And we can just take kind of a chunk out of the side of this thing, too. Okay, just like that. So that's how you cut holes, and that's how you combine, duplicate, and cut holes in objects in Tinkercad. Okay, so now what if I want to be a little bit more precise? I just kind of threw those holes in there. I wasn't measuring very carefully. Well, that's when you need to start bringing the ruler in. So if we bring the ruler in, Okay, we set it at a specific location, and then now all of a sudden when we pull up, uh, when we click on an object, we get relationships to where our ruler is at. So it tells us kind of the measurements of, um, you know, where things are at in relationship to, to where our ruler mark is, and this can be very helpful in placing objects. So let's say I need to do another hole. It doesn't need to be nearly that big, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to make it like a like a 5 millimeter by 5 millimeter. Whoops, I just raised it off the ground. I'm going to go ahead and hit my undo button up here. Okay, so I got a 5 by 5. And let's go ahead. I'm going to get scroll down here a little bit. We'll make it, we'll do, let's say I want a hole all the way through this thing. Okay, now when I go up to move it here, let's say I need this hole to be exactly like 25 centimeters or millimeters up. OK, 
okay, and exactly 25 centimeters over. You can see that my values are changing here on the on the ruler as I as I measure. So I can set these then, you know, 15, 25, whatever, and then I can be a lot more precise in how I group my objects. So now I'm going to go ahead and group. And then I, boom, I put that hole right there in that object, okay? There's also a super, super handy tool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this whole object, and we're going to start from scratch. So let's say I've got this, I don't know, rectangle or whatever. Let's just, for our purposes, let's just make it a square, and we'll call it good. All right, and let's say that I need a hole dead center in this square. All right, so again, I'm going to make my cylinder into a hole. All right, I'm going to make it a little bit taller just so we make sure that, that it gets all the way through there. And I can try to place it here, and I can even move these things so it's like right on the ruler over here. And then I can kind of say, well, it's 75 by 75, so it should be like 32, 32, whatever. All right. That would work, and you could take the, put in the time to figure out where exactly this thing could go in the middle. But it takes forever to do that, and odds are you're not going to come out just right anyway unless you're super, super careful. So what we want to do is come over here and use this Align button. So if we use this Align button, then it gives me these dots, and what I can do is I can align my objects together using these dots. So I can say I want them to be in the middle this way, and I want them to be in the middle that way, and boom, now that hole is perfectly centered. I can group it. There we go. Perfect every time. If you want something centered, you don't have to mess with it. So that's how you use rulers to get objects placed, and that's how you use the alignment tool to get objects placed in Tinkercad so you can be a little bit more precise. Well, I think that's really all I wanted to show you for the basics. The rest of it is kind of up to you to figure out. And uh, we'll do some experiment, and we'll see what you guys can make. Good luck.